Now let's start our recap of the last two weeks. We've got the Grand Slam finale, the last three days of the event to look back on, and also the Players' Championship finals, which took place at the weekend. But we'll start off with our look back at the Grand Slam, and we've got another new major champion in the PDC, Michael Smith, winning the Grand Slam, a 16-5 win against Nathan Aspinall in that final. Finally gets that first major title at the ninth time of asking. How pivotal do you think this title could be for the Bully Boy going forward? And you'll hear from him later in this show. We'll see if he agrees with me. But I'm going to take a slightly different answer than I think most people will say. I actually don't think it's that pivotal. And the reason I say that is because this was going to happen. This was going to happen. I'm not even going to say sooner or later. It was going to happen sooner. It actually took a little longer than I thought. Because if you go back 11 months ago to the World Championship final, Michael Smith at that point in his career was ready to cross the line. And not just in any event, but in the World Championships. And it really took 10 or 11 extraordinary legs of darts from Peter Wright to deny Michael Smith. Michael Smith didn't bottle it. Michael Smith did not drop his game from a world championship level. Peter Wright played the best darts of his life to turn that match around and to become world champion for the second time. That aside, Michael Smith was ready then. Michael Smith was ready at the European Championship. He just ran into someone else who played the match of his life in the weekend of his life. The only time any time recently where, Pete, where uh, Michael Smith looked like you could say he bottled it was the UK Open. But also the UK Open is such a long, tiring weekend. There's been a lot of finals like that where both players just didn't have it. And it does make sense at the end of that long weekend. I mean, when Nathan Aspinall won his major over Rob Cross a few years ago, both of them were well off their best in that match. And it's because it is a long, tiring weekend. And that should that very well could have and should have been Michael Smith's major breakthrough. But we can understand why it wasn't after what was a grueling uh, three days there in Minehead. He was going to become a major champion. He's been ready. And it just so happened that that time was the Grand Slam. Whether he goes on to win the world championship, whether he goes on to win three majors next year, I think he would have if he does do that, he would have done that even if he didn't win this one. So that's why I'm saying it's not all that pivotal because this was going to happen. And I don't think it I don't think it will affect his confidence or his ability to cross the line in a future major at all. That said, it doesn't change that it is significant, as even he said in the interviews, he, if he was a cat, he'd be on his last life. He was already lost eight major finals before this. And that does drain on you. And it is obviously a huge moment and one that should be celebrated because he had come so close so many times, twice losing in last leg deciders, coming within two sets, coming within four legs of being the world champion. So it obviously is a monumental achievement in his career, but it is the first of many. It is the first, not just of, you know, a couple that he could uh, pip over course of some time. It is the first of what I think will be double digit number of major titles. Michael Smith is the second best player in the world right now behind only Michael Van Guren. And Michael Van Guren is playing very well right now. And Michael Smith is closer to him than I think he is to whoever is the fourth best player. Josh Rock, I would say, is currently the third best in the world on current form. But Michael Smith is going to win double digit majors. He's going to be near the top of the game for another two to three decades. Well, the people ranked ahead of him, like some of them, at least Peter Wright, maybe it's just another two to three years. Michael Smith will get to double figures and this will be that first of many. But even had he not won this one, I don't think it would have made that much difference in the long run. He has been ready for a year now to become major champion. It was just a question of when. It's now happened and he now has that and that could never be taken away from him. But I think in five years, we will have to go back and remember, think about what was the first because he will have won by that point six, seven, eight majors. He will have been a world champion at least once by then. There are so many players right now that are emerging as stars. But what makes Michael Smith different is that he is still a cut above all the rest of them, of his uh, peer group. This is, as I said, a, a monumental achievement for him and one that should be celebrated. But I don't think it's pivotal for his career because it was going to happen. It will happen again and it will happen again and again and again after that. Michael Smith is a superstar. Michael Smith is one of the faces of darts and will remain so. This is just the first of many titles for him, possibly first of many just over the next few months. I think it is going to be interesting to see how we look back on 
that week at the Grand Slam for Michael Smith in, in terms of his career in, in a few years' time. But, I mean, to get that monkey off his back, and it's been a, a question that's been thrown at him so many times over the last four or five years since he started making these major finals, and, and probably since before then, when he had that breakthrough, winning the World Youth Championship, beating Phil Taylor at Ali Pali, starting to make deep runs in the majors. It has always been, he's always been touted as, as someone that is a, a future major champion in waiting and you know we've said it ourselves on this show many times that it was a matter of when not if he got that first major title and a lot of people have also said that once he gets that first one under his belt he's going to take some serious stopping and you think back to that world championship final against Peter Wright in January that you mentioned and on stage afterwards Peter Wright was saying that once Michael gets that first title we're all in trouble and it remains to be seen if that is going to be the case. We've just seen him play in the Players' Championship finals and I guess it's always hard after getting that first one to then go again just a a few days later. There'll have been a lot of media commitments, a lot of people that would have wanted a a piece of Michael Smith in, in the days after that and then to go again five days later would have been tough for him but he has got a few weeks now to let it all sink in and, and go for the, the biggest one of them all, the World Championship but as we go into that and all the other events next year, we will see if he is able to back up that Grand Slam and, and start to tick off these major titles and, and really start to build up the CV that his game and the, the potential that he's shown for for a long time deserves and you look back to the, the final three days of the Grand Slam, we did a, an episode after the last 16 and we were looking ahead to the, the final few days of it and Michael Smith, what a game he had in the quarterfinals with Joe Cullen. It was a back and forth game, but he went 15-13 down and, and what does he do? His, his back is against the wall, 15 data to hold, a, a 70 finish, one dart at tops and Joe Cullen was sat on eight for the match. Then he breaks in 11 darts, holds throwing 15 darts to get over the line and yeah, it was a, a special comeback that those last three legs to get over the line and the confidence must have been extremely high then and in the semi-finals against Raymond Van Barneveld, steamed off to a 5-0 lead. Barney brings it back to 10 all, 12 all, and Michael Smith runs off the last four legs, 11, 14, 13 and 14. In the final, 50% on the doubles. That was the, the stat that really caught the eye for me. And from 10-5 to go that next session, win five legs, really pull away 15-5. And to have that little break, come back and win that last leg, it, it couldn't have gone much better him, for him to get over the line. But yeah, He has got that first major title under his belt. We'll see how pivotal this title is going to be going forward. But for Michael Smith, I think to get that first one, get that monkey off his back, it's going to be huge for me. He was a confident player, regardless of all the major final defeats. He's someone that's always said that he's never given up hope at any point. He's always had that belief that that first title, that first big title is just around the corner. And now he's ticked off. Yeah, we're going to see how many more he can get in in the years ahead. 